Hey guys, this is Opal, my small signature Persian cat, and today we will be designing her bedroom. Let's get started. First, I'm going to move some items from my dock into the room that I might want to use in this design. Um, the white silk sofa is one of my favorites, which is why I have four already in here. Let's see what else we could add. We might use a pair of these. I like these as well. But just because you put it in the room now doesn't mean you have to keep it in the room. Ooh, this is another favorite item of mine, the velvety elephant pet specific item. It's just really cute. Might use this. That would look nice, I think. And this is my inspiration for the design. The charcoal kitty pet specific item, which is this fireplace right here. It's really cute. I like it a lot. Hmm. It might look like I'm putting a lot of seating in here, but I'm definitely not going to keep all of these in the final design. But I just want to remember that they are options. We will come back to some wall paint later, and let's continue seeing what else we have already. I like these that go with the condo theme a lot. It's a really pretty theme. I think I have the other one in here. And the pair just look really nice together. There it is. Yeah, that looks nice. That might just stay where it is. Oops. Another favorite item of mine is these mosaic mirrors. They're just really simple. They can work with just about any room you're working on. I guess that's why I really like those. Okay, that's all we have in our dock already. So now we're going to go to the W shop and buy a couple of items. Okay, now we're at the W shop. We're going to go look at some furniture. Like I said, we'll come back to that again later. Let's look at some beds. Hmm. What looks like a good Persian cat bed to you? I like this one, and I feel like it would look nice, but I'd have to get rid of the green paintings. I'll go ahead and get it, just in case, because I think blue would look really nice. So let's keep looking. Hmm. Or I could go with this one. Let's do that. Can I go ahead and sell this? Yeah, let's sell that one. And buy this modern looking one. It kind of has the same shape as the mahogany low bed from the condo theme which makes it a little easier to mix and match the two themes together. So I think we'll definitely do that bed. So let's try to find some good nightstands or side tables. Hmm. I like this one. Not part of a theme, kind of old, but it's really cute and it comes with a flower. So I'll be sure to use that somewhere in my room. I guess that's the matching nightstand. I'll pass for now. Hmm. That's not bad. I could probably put something on top of that to cover the pink circle to make it more neutral for this theme. 
So let's go ahead and get a pair of these. I think we have plenty of storage options and seating options. So let's go back to walls and floors. I'm thinking gray would be too dark and it would make the fireplace blend in too much. White would be alright, except for we're having a lot of white sofas in our room. So maybe we should not use white wall paint. One I really like is the powder blue wall paint. If I can find it, I will show it to you. I don't think I passed it. There it is. This one. I think that with a nice dark floor would look really good in this room. So let's go with this and find us a nice floor. Hmm. It's not bad, but not really what I had in mind. We could buy a couple of different floors to, to test out and compare. I think that would look nice with the powdered blue because of that stripe right there. So we'll get one of these and try that. and maybe the creative studio flooring. I really like it because it's really dark. I hate that it has a bunch of paint splotches on it though. I need a really good dark wood floor that does not have any paint splotches. Lots of e-store point items. Yay. I have none, so not options. Let's start with those, and then we'll see what we have. So on this computer, I cannot click on the go to whatever section, so this might take a while since I have over 900 items right now. <laughs> Oops, went a little too far. Okay, now we're back to the start. Let's start with testing out this floor. As well as adding this bed. Okay. Are we thinking more with the blues or more with the greens and browns? I'm kind of thinking more with the blues and grays because of the Persian's eyes. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. We might still use the trunk because it's kind of gray, so we'll keep it in here for now. That might work somewhere. I'm really liking this floor right now, so we'll leave it and find our wall paint and see how it looks together. There we go. Let's see how this looks. I really like this combination. I think it works. So, let's see. I think that's all we bought. Yes, so let's start moving stuff around. 
I'm thinking we could do something like a nice big seating area in here. Maybe move that one over. So the fireplace, since that's our inspiration, will be the focal point. Move this out of the way real quick. I don't know, it might stay right there. Something like that. Too much space? Not enough? I don't know. Let's add our lamp right here. I'm thinking we might have to get rid of this, but for now I'll just move it over. We do not need another sofa. And we can move our end tables in. End in. Haha. <laughs> That's funny. So funny. I'm thinking we might use these screens to create a little bit of privacy for the sleeping area. I think that would look nice. It would probably also feel nice to have a little privacy in such an open room. I kind of wish I had more of these now. Hmm. Let's stop here and go back to the W shop and look around for something else we might be able to use. Okay, so now we're back at the W shop and let's start looking for some stuff we can use like room dividers. Shelves are always good to use as room dividers if you can find some that are reversible or have a flat back. And I don't see any here we could use for this room. So let's keep looking. These look similar to the ones we already have. They might work. They look a little bit more brown than the ones we have though. So let's check with some storage things. They also make pretty good room dividers. That might not be too bad got the right blues and grays. My only concern is it's a little bit more outdoorsy. Hmm. Also an option. It's got the right colors. And then we already have some of these. I feel like these would make great room dividers. The only thing is, this is the only spot you can see. When you turn it around, it's not flat. There's still drawers there. Which might work, but then again, it looks kind of silly. So, that means we're going to have to rearrange this to get it how we want. So, let's think. 
we could make the seating area a little smaller which would free up more space in the room for other things like a kitchen and dining area as well as more space for a bedroom area or we can leave it very open in the living area and make it really compact for a small kitchen and the bed area. I'm thinking that will probably make the seating area smaller for the fireplace since this is actually supposed to be her bedroom. I feel like that would help a lot. So let's do that. We're going to start by just removing these. We can always place them back in later if we need them. And let's move this to this wall and get rid of the really big sofa. We'll just sit this over in the corner for now. Another thing to keep in mind when designing rooms is adding more rooms and where the door is going to go. My next room will be added over here, so the door will probably be right here. And that works pretty well with our current design, I think. So now we have the smaller living area over here and I think we'll move one of these tables over here there we go and put that there and now we're gonna have to scroll over to all of our furniture none of my clothing is for trade by the way I would just like to add that Furniture, however, I can work a deal out on some of that stuff. Okay, furniture. Here we are. With this design, maybe we can work this back in here. So, oh yeah, I almost forgot about that little table. rice paper dividers. I like these. It kind of mixes together the gray and the dark brown here. I think it works well with both. Okay, that's not really direction I wanted it. There we go. Okay. Let's do that this way and put the table there. Not really sure where I want to use this one now. Maybe I will just get rid of this one and put this one here instead. I like that. So now, let's get working on a kitchen and dining area. I actually do not think I'll be able to use this after all, so I'll go ahead and remove that. Huh. I almost forgot about this one. I think that would have worked better in the bigger design, because I think it would be way too squished here. Yeah, you don't want all the chairs pressed up against the table. Not good. We could add some sparkle plants. I think that would add a little bit more of the blues and greens to it. There we go. And 
If I could find some nice windows, that would add a nice touch. But for now, let's go ahead and get started on the kitchen and dining area. Since a lot of the room already is the mega modern theme, I think I will probably do the dining set that matches. So let's find that. I think I passed it. There we go. So we're going to get this table and four matching chairs. Four. And let's grab one of these. I think that would work nicely in there. And I already have some stools, so let's go look at kitchen furniture. I like these countertops a lot. I'm thinking I will probably need four. So, I can always buy more if I need a couple more. And a fridge. And let's go ahead and get the stove. If I use the stove, I will need at least two more countertops. So I will go ahead and buy them. Okay. Scrolling back through all of this. Okay, here we are. So we've got our dining set here. I think we'll put it right here. Nice and centered. And turn that the right way. As well as the last chair. There's our stove. I guess I passed the rest of the kitchen furniture. Let's go back and find it. Here are the countertops. Earlier I mentioned the placement of new rooms and doors, and I said the next door would probably be around right here. So I only want the countertops to go out to right here, so there will be space for the next door. And I think I will put the stove right here. Let's go ahead and flip these around the right way. There we go. And the drink bar. We'll add this right here to make a nice little bar. Hmm, that looks a little close to the dining table. Let's try rearranging some of the items in our room.
All that's left is the fridge. I think Opal, our posh, small signature Persian cat, will really like her room, and we will find out when we adopt her in our next video. Thanks for watching.